after they plant. If you're like me, you feel like sharing your homegrown produce is one of the best things in life. And also, we need to eat. So losses in the garden can be very sad. I understand why the mice and the pack rats and the ground squirrels they were stressed too this last summer. It was very hot and very dry and the summer was very long. So I don't blame them for eating my garden, but I was kind of growing that for us humans. I know many of my neighbors have had this same experience. I feel you deeply. Water is precious. I don't want to be using mined groundwater that's not sustainable for my regular water supply. So I need to make some very important decisions about how I invest my precious stored up rainwater. And that's why I want to talk greenhouses. This is technically called a high tunnel greenhouse. I just call it the hoop house. But this is where I had the most success with gardening this last summer. So that's why I want to show it to you. Because you can't lose hope. If you have a green thumb, you need to be investing your water into growing local food. Even in this changing climate, there are ways. We originally got this structure because it was falling apart and unwanted on someone else's property. They gave it to us if we would take it down. So we dismantled it and brought it home and repaired it and upgraded it with gutters. And eventually we framed out the windows and the doors and put shade cloth on. To install the gutters, we needed to add some elements like these wooden rails. They were bolted onto the aluminum frame. These U-channels and springs hold on the shade cloth and secure the extra piece of plastic that helps the rain get into the gutters. The gutters are screwed onto the wooden rail through the plastic. Each gutter drains rainwater into its own tank, and then we can pump that water into the tanks inside the hoop house. Much of this space in the hoop house is designated for seedling production. Every spring we sell veggie starts to raise funds for our sustainable learning center. We grow the varieties that work well in our climate. In April we sell the frost tolerant veggies and then in May we provide the many kinds of summer crops. A portion of the hoop house is a large raised bed where we did all the soil building. We built soil in here by piling up all this garden trimmings and um, just vegetative debris that we could gather, and then a couple truckloads of different kinds of aged manure. We added random wild mushroom spores and worms and water. It made some great soil. This soil is like a nutritious sponge full of microbial life and fungus. It holds water for a long time, so we don't have to water too often. And it grows a lush bed of healthy food. In the summer, it's a wonderful, lush, healthy, dense bed of vegetation with annual food and perennial crops too. In the winter, it slows down, but we can still grow lettuces and other kinds of greens. Under the mulch, there's things to harvest through the winter. And then in the spring, some things will just pop back to life. This hoop house has all those benefits, along with the very important ventilation techniques. Of course, there are downfalls. It's the membrane is plastic and plastic degrades over time in the sunlight and so you will need to throw it away and replace it. There are many ways to provide protection and season extension for our desert gardens. There's cold frames and shade cloth and all kinds of microclimates you can create. But the water harvesting greenhouse is pretty great because it holds moisture really well, so you use less moisture to water, and also you can catch the rain that falls on it and store it up and divvy it out over time as the plants need it inside the greenhouse. I like to have a variety of 
microclimates so that I can grow a variety of vegetables. But I suggest you start with one. One rain harvesting, food producing microclimate. If we all find ways to produce or gather food from this land in a way that is respectful to our environment and all the inhabitants of our beautiful natural world, then we're that much closer to the community food security that we need. And plus, we get to hang out with these guys.